Hello everybody, good evening. I just wanted to check in really quick. We had a successful excavation today. There were no problems, really, no problems. Sebastian had a quick, um, I think they call it like bradycardic moment where his heart kind of stopped barking. <laughs> Not really, I, I don't really quite understand it myself, but basically when Sebastian was in surgery, they placed uh, lines where they could connect to a pacemaker and they had to use those tonight. He's been very, very sedated, so his heart rate kind of dropped and they were just able to plug in the lines that were already in and kind of pace his heart for himself. Other than that, he is doing really, really good. It's so good to see his face. I'm so happy for him and this is one step closer to coming home. With all that being said, things can change at any minute. So, please pray that the tube stays out. Also, I just realized that my toilet is right there, so sorry. My bathroom has the best lighting at 11.30 at night, so. <laughs> um, the only other issue that Sebastian is kind of having right now, and it's not an issue, it was a necessity. As I mentioned previously in my other videos, Sebastian cannot be treated with narcotics. And by narcotic, narcotics, excuse me, I mean fentanyl and other stronger forms of pain medication because it makes his blood pressure drop way too low. So he was treated with opioids. The ones that he were treated with were ketamine, Versed, and Presidex, and I'm not even sure that Presidex is an opioid, but specifically the um, ketamine and the Versed. Those specific two drugs were the safest for Sebastian and the most effective for what he needed. So those two specific drugs kept him kind of sedated and comfortable and his pain was managed well, but they didn't affect his blood pressure. However, those opioid drugs are known to, you're able, you can get addicted to them very fast. So while they were coming down on those medications, um, they cut him in half yesterday and then they completely stopped them. We noticed that today Sebastian is unfortunately starting to have some withdrawals from that. And you're probably wondering, well, why did they why did they stop them cold turkey? The reason why they stopped those medications specifically cold turkey is because they're known to suppress the respiratory drive. And with the tube out, Sebastian can't have that. He needs all of the respiratory support on his own that he can. So having those two medications on board were not, they were no longer safe for him. However, with that being said, they started a, another drug that has a similar effect of those two drugs, but what it also does is treat the symptoms of withdrawal. So he's in a good spot. They are handling all of his medications. I couldn't, I won't be able to fully explain them to you. And if you have a difference in opinion, I can appreciate that. But I also know that his team has everything under control as far as his treatment plan. So moving on from that, we are treating him with all the medications that he needs. He's good. Um, instead of sedating him tonight, they gave him a little bit of melatonin. They started a small dose of his feeds back up. So he's getting a little bit of food and other than that, he's doing really, really good breathing on his own. Breathing on his own, excuse me. At one point, his heart surgeon walked in, and Sebastian's cannula wasn't even in his nose, and he was like, his oxygen levels were at like 100%, and he was like, mm, he doesn't even need this oxygen support right now. Which we're gonna keep him on it and slowly wean him. But even the surgeon was like, I don't think he needs that. Which is like, it's wonderful to hear. So still the big issue is making sure we get him off all of the drugs and we don't send him home with any withdrawal symptoms. Although the medication that treats that can be, it's administered orally, which is through the tube for Sebastian. So we can come home on it technically and wean him at home, which I'm comfortable doing. Um, and then the bigger thing is just getting his lungs a little bit more clear, getting them a little bit more dry, making sure he's not having any withdrawal symptoms and just making sure that his levels are good, which so far, they do seem good. He's tolerating his feeds. I will say he's a little dazed and confused and angry, which is to be expected because these last like six days going on seven days, he's been completely sedated. He's been completely out of it. And today was the first day that again, we lifted those drugs because we don't want to repress his breathing. Um, but today was the first day that he was kind of awake. 
The other thing about those drugs that we were treating to keep him comfy, some of them can cause like hallucinations and delirium and agitation. They All medications have side effects. Those two unfortunately had that. So now that he has like no strong sedation in his body, he was awake and he was mad. He was happy that the tube is out and happy to see me and dad. He looks so much better. Mm -hmm. Hi, beautiful. <laughs> but you could tell he like he couldn't settle down. He just he couldn't get comfy. So hopefully Bye. tomorrow maybe. And after having this new drug that kind of counteracts the withdrawal symptoms. Um, Hopefully tomorrow was a better day. So I think that's it. I think I touched on everything I wanted to touch on. Obviously the most important thing being that the tube came out successfully. He looks beautiful. He's wonderful. I miss him. I'm not gonna cry. Um, I miss him and he, today we got like, I don't know, he just looks so peaceful in his bed and we just got like a little, a little glimpse of what's to come so i'm really really happy we're really satisfied we're really today was another good day and that is a blessing sebastian's doing really good after getting his breathing tube taken out he's sitting up in bed and he's watching tv for now and mama sitting next to him and i've got my ipad yeah, and we put his little chew glove on because he's getting a little anxious. But anyway, we put his little glove on and he's starting to chew on it and wake up and he's doing really, really, really good. Thank you all, honestly. Not even this last week, it's been like this, these last like 12 weeks have been a little crazy with Sebastian being in the hospital with his heart infection and then the move and then the heart surgery and all this stuff. I, um... I don't generally look forward to the new year because I feel like if you want to start fresh, you should do that whenever you feel like your heart desires. No, you shouldn't wait until the first of the next year. But I gotta say, for some reason, this new year, I feel like I just want to embrace it and be like, okay, it's a new year. It's gonna be a new year then. <laughs> so anyway, here's to hoping he's home in time for Christmas and the new year. We'll see you tomorrow. Thank you.